breaking the wall of cleaner solar energy. Qualified in the London lab. Rida Azais, Aerial Power Limited, London. Thank you. Welcome. So there has been this vast increase in installments of uh, solar power plants, especially in the sunbelt countries. Here you have uh, quite a, a lot of uh, solar radiation, a lot of solar energy that can be produced. But these regions tend to be very arid. A lot of dirt is being blown onto the solar panels. We talk about sand and dust. Uh, that leads to efficiency losses of up to 35% in a single month and even 85% in losses are measured after a sandstorm. So um, this is uh, quite a lot and uh, people try to clean those solar panels manually, but this is not only dangerous to conduct in a high heat, high voltage environment, but also costly. Another approach has been the use of robots. Now them also being costly, as you still need four people to lift such a device from row to row. And second, these devices potentially affect the sensitive surface of the solar panel as their motion mechanics either uses suction cups or wheels in order to move across the solar panels. That is why I invented the solar brush, an add-on for commercially available drones, a robotic arm that is mounted below the drone and to meet the vertical accuracy, it lowers uh, a robotic arm, so to speak, and then the drone flies through to the solar farm. So you have two cleaning technologies here. One, the tactile, using a gentle brush, and two, the airstream of the drone, of the multicopter. Brushes the sand away from the panel into the mounting space in between. Now, since the system is so quick, it is quite cheap in comparison to the solutions you've seen, and therefore we can promote a high cleaning interval. With that, we can prevent the buildup of encrusted surfaces, saving tons of precious fresh water that gets wasted in the cleaning uh, process today. Now, uh, what I point out is that this system is really simple. Um, it's a real world application for the drones uh, because the solar farms are ground mounted. They're usually fenced, the utility scale farms. So you can easily access, you don't have a, a, a chaotic environment, you have reoccurring uh, geometries the drone can navigate by, leading to cleaner solar energy. I'm happy to take your questions. What is the quality of cleaning as compared to wet cleaning? So um, the airstream uh, gets away uh, most of it. We, pro we talk, we promote a cleaning interval of every four days in places like Saudi Arabia. But um, with the brush, you get the, the last bit away. But right now we're still measuring uh, the, the difference of the <coughs> before and after the effect. So we have access to utility scale plants where we do that. Very quick. Are there legal implications of deployment? Uh, so we've been in Chile, there's no... Uh, uh, um, so in Chile, problem. no? Chile. In Chile, there's no implication. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs>